Does your trim work, i.e. bridge set up 1 16th from the body? Or is your bridge decked for dive only? Well, somebody asked. Hey heathens, what's up? It's JD Blute, evil unicorn floating around somewhere, mysterious things from the ether coming in more slowly than I would like, but we'll explain that in another video. And this is Somebody Asked. We have an amazing community on my channel, and the amount of questions, comments, likes, just really warms my little heart. Actually, my slightly enlarged heart. Anyway, cheers and skull to you all. This week's question is actually in relation to this. The PRS SE Custom 24 Charcoal Burst 2020 Edition. It's no secret that I really truly believe this is my favorite guitar, and it's also no secret that that is an incredibly valid question. You see this guitar on this channel a lot. You hear it in a lot of what I do, whether it be for my Sundays with Ola, or for my demos, or for stuff you haven't heard yet because I'm still writing and recording. It's probably my main bitch. But what you have never heard is me use the whammy bar, the trem bar, the dive bar, whatever you want to call it. You will notice, it does not take the keenest of observers to note, but you will notice that there is no trem bar. There is room for a trem bar, but one does not exist there. I have long said I am a fan of fixed bridges, having started my very, my second guitar. My first guitar had a bridge much like this, the Fender style, and my second guitar ever had a Floyd Rose. So I am not at all averse to trems. I just realize as I get older, I am looking more for simplicity and moreover tuning stability. If you remember my review about this guitar, you'll know that I mentioned these guitars are the least tuningly stable PRSs you can find. You should change the nut, you should put locking tuners on, and then usually you'll be fine. However, I have not done that. So one of the major reasons I don't use the trem bar is quite literally because I like tuning stability. I do not trust this or many other guitars to actually stay in tune after a dive bomb. I know that's far-fetched, but that is literally been my experience. So I try to go for fixed bridge. I'll do a tunematic if I really love the guitar. That's still not my favorite bridge. But at the end of the day, the question was, does the trem work? Well, in order to answer that scientifically and properly, we should probably go find the trem bar. You know what? I'm going to bring you guys with me. This is going to suck, but I'm going to do it anyway. Say hello to my room. Say hello to my closet. All right. Now, say hello to the gig bag that came with the PRS. We're going to try and see if this is in here. Because quite frankly, I don't remember. That may have been an exercise in futility. So, where is it? If you're like me, you probably have a place to store all your stuff. Well, I have to move you for one more second. Sorry, we'll be right back. Come on over this way. You can take a look at my amazing there's nothing. Yeah, okay, good. I didn't mean to hit you guys. Ugh. Guitar box. All right, we have our guitar box. That trip to the closet was... Ooh, I need a longer laugh. That trip to the closet was absolutely fruitless. Which now leads me to actually ask the question to myself, where is the trem bar? 
Found it. Aha! Nailed it. Good. Good. All right. We'll put that giant green box of toys over there. Okay. Let's get back to pretending we're professional, shall we? As he absolutely decimates the string. All right, we're back. Now, for the first time since I purchased this guitar, let's make sure this works. I actually really do like that it's a friction lock. It feels like there's a rubber uh, gasket or whatever holding it in. So I think that's actually a really cool feature. I appreciate PRS for having done that. It doesn't interfere, as you wouldn't expect, with your picking. Let's try a dive, shall we? I'm not going to do a big one, but let's just try and see if we get that nice, subtle trim going. Well, my playing could be better, but you heard it. You can actually go up a little bit. Now, I wouldn't dime bag the shit out of this by any means, but it does have a little bit of float, for lack of a better word. greatest setting for dive bombs and pinch harmonics, but you get the idea. So the answer is yes, the trem works. Is it set up for dive only? Sort of. Again, you can't really pull up all that much. Maybe, what is that, a quarter step? Maybe a, maybe a half step if you really crank it? I still wouldn't recommend it. Um, Again, only friction lock. I like it. I, it all, in all honesty, it just doesn't suit my playing. That's the whole, that's the whole reason I don't use it. Uh, if somebody wants this, I could probably throw it up on reverb if I wanted to. Just to be absolutely thorough, I didn't realize on this model year, they actually stopped recessing the access cavity in the back. So if you're interested, the access cavity, looks like that. Sorry about that insane brightness. But there you have it. There's no blocking. There's no decking. I basically just address, adjust the screw tree here, uh, depending on the strings. Right now, these are... I don't have it written down. Right now, I think these are 10 to 46s or 9 to 42s. I can't remember what I threw on here, and I'm going to be putting... And we're in uh, E-flat. I'm going to be putting on thicker strings because I got to get this thing down to C. I really want to see how this thing handles C tuning. It's one of my favorites. So, Odessit, I hope I've got that right. I hope that answers your question. I do not really modify guitars. This trem does work incredibly well. I forgot to check if it's in tune. We unplugged already. Nope. just before we go. Not too bad, but not great either. That's my main gripe for not using a trem. But I hope that answers your question. Make sure, if you have any questions, to leave them down below, either here or in any other video that inspires your inquisitive mind. And I will see you, well, depending on when this goes up, this probably went up on a Thursday, so I will see you on Sunday. Probably for a Sunday with Ola, because I love doing those. And then I'll be back next Thursday with something. I don't know. I don't plan these things. I just shoot them and send them. Be safe. Be consensual. And if you can't be good, well then, sweet Satan on a pogo stick.
both Evil Unicorn, the Mysterious Object, and J.D. Blute myself say, be good at it. Bye.